The school year got off to a rocky start for hundreds of students in Trenton who showed up for their first day at a school assigned by the District Board of Education only to be told they weren't registered in the system and there were no seats available at the city's other public schools either. Well, it's now one full week into the academic year and families are frantic over the situation with their young kids unable to attend school. Raven Santana reports. We want them to get their stuff together. Trenton resident and parent Luis Rivera says his son got a letter from the Board of Education telling him which school to attend this year. But when he got there on the first day, he says he was told the school did not have a spot and that he needed to go to another school. But upon arrival, the second school didn't have a spot for him either. The Riveras are not alone. Laquana Hardy says she has been trying to find a school for her five-year-old. She's supposed to have been in the system, but when I came the first day of school, um, Stokes told me that they didn't have uh, any slots open, which was a lie. When I came here to bring her here that afternoon, they told me they had 20 slots open. These families are only a few of the thousands impacted by the process of relocating students after the city recently redistricted. The school they're sending my daughter to is 30 minutes walking. I don't drive. My daughter is the size of like a kindergartner. Trenton resident who only wanted to be identified as Jasmine says she's outraged that her 10 year old has been home for the last four days since school started. Her child was assigned to a school 30 minutes away instead of the one located two blocks away. So how did this all happen and what's behind the restructuring? Trenton's mayor, who did not deny there were serious issues and chaos with this year's school registration, admits that good intention came with unforeseen challenges. It was strictly a math uh, formula to try to get the schools down in population. Um, we wanted uh, smaller class sizes and we wanted more one-on-one uh, uh, -on -one learning. Uh, and the only way to do that is to open up five new schools, which we did. Uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of bumps that um, were not planned upon by the uh, school board. Which is why the district was forced to hold a series of registration events to help parents and teachers confirm where their child will be attending school. Last night was the first and the line wrapped around the building with angry and confused parents. We are going to get everyone registered. Registration hasn't stopped. We've been registering since April of last year. We opened registration in April. We are out of space in parts of our city, in our schools, and we have space in other wards or areas of our city. And so we wanted to make sure that that took place to see if we could reduce the size and the the student population in schools. Superintendent of Trenton Public Schools, James Earl, says while he can sympathize with parents and families, he also stresses the city has tried to prepare residents more than six months ago publicly in multiple ways, including Zoom presentations like this one. We have a waiting list. The waiting list started in April also. And so we started saying, so you're going to be moved when we put our first letter out on May 1st to say this is your school. We also put an exemption process in place that you complete this form. So we have a late waiting list. So anyone who's saying, I want to go now, there are 200 people in front of them that we have to consider. Uh, while people are um, upset and you know, anxious about what's going on. We know that in, you know, a year that will be their school. They will have identified the way to get to the school and hopefully by then we will have identified some ways to get them closer. Earl, who admits the redistricting plan was ambitious, relocating approximately 600 staff members and nearly 8,000 students, also says the alternative meant severely overcrowded classrooms at a rate that's not conducive to learning. He and the mayor strongly advise parents to attend one of the registration events to become better informed of their child's placement and possible relocation options. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Raven Santana.